All right, we got 20 amazing details in Warhammer 40K. It's great video. Let's go, man. The world of Space Marine 2 is absolutely packed with details, Easter eggs, and references to the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Being a huge Warhammer fan myself, I wanted to compile a few interesting I'm a Warhammer uh, new booty. So far. Sorry, this is newbie. By no means everything the game is hiding away, so if you have any fascinating finds, secrets, or cool details that you found, be sure to leave them in the comment section below, and maybe we'll do a follow-up video. I've done my best to avoid major spoilers, but consider yourself warned if you do want to go into Space Marine 2 completely fresh. Now, let's without go. further ado, let's get into it. Let's get right into it, let's go. The first thing I noticed is that the sword wielded by our Death Watch Black Shield Titus is actually his chainsword from the original game. You can see them side by side here, but at the very least, it's either the same model, unlikely as how unique it is, or some of his gear was kept stored away while he was in stasis. Oh. When returning to the battle barge later in the game, you can actually see the chainsword mounted in his quarters, and you can see that it is a little smaller than the other chainsaws throughout the game, the new ones being more suited for the stature of a primary. Oh my goodness! While we're in Titus's room, we can also find his Death Watch pauldron. Uh -oh. Every Space Marine wears one of these pauldrons on their left arm. It's called Drip. It's called Death Drip. Watch, with it's the called pauldron drip. bearing their chapter icon moved onto their right arm. It's common that when a Space Marine finishes their service with the Death Watch and returns to their chapter, they keep the Death Watch pauldron, but will now wear it on their right arm. Oh, look how fly he looks. To wear this pauldron as a mark of honor and Xenon. As a mark of, he's the goat, basically. He's However, a goat. Titus hangs his pauldron and Black Watch robes in his chambers. That's, I that's... believe this is because while he is rightfully proud of his time with the Death Watch, it also pains him to recall the situation. Bro, it's like Tom Brady his wearing his rings while playing the game. He's returned to the Ultramarines as a new defined period in Come on, bro. service to the Emperor. So instead, Titus wears a more muted chain with the symbol of the Inquisition to mark his time with the Look Battle how goaty he looks, man. We saw the purple eyes of the Cadians in the original announcement trailer for Space Spring 2, a side effect that those hailing from Cadia have due to their close proximity to the Eye of Terror. Using Space Spring 2's photo mode, Wait, you can actually what? see each individual model of Astra Militarum also have these Wow, that, no, 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 that's actually a pretty good detail. detail. Sure, but it makes the Cadian forces feel that bit more special. You may wow. have noticed that Astra Militarum, armored vehicles, and tanks feature vertical red and white lines painted towards their front. This, as well as a lot of their design in general, is inspired by British World War I tanks. As they use these markings really? to aid recognition after the Germans began using captured British vehicles. In older Imperial Guard codexes, it's explained that these are now used more as company markings. But you could also argue that there's always the risk of orcs or traitors using captured tanks too. So True. this bit of paint could continue to distinguish friend from foe even in the far future. One smaller detail is that you can also see these marks on the edge of the armor. These flame cut marks appear on World War II tanks too, where thick armored panels have been cut down to fit each tank. Have you noticed the bolt round hanging from Chiron's pauldron? Well, this is actually an award called the Marksman's Honor. The golden case of the bolt shell is also said to be one of the spent bolt cases from the weapon of the Ultramarine's Primarch, Robute Gilliman. These are only awarded to Space Marines that have shown exceptional accuracy with ranged weapons oh. or have performed an incredible feat. Of so he's like Stephen Curry from the field. Though, okay. Chiron's default weapon is the auto bolt rifle, which isn't equipped with a scope. So I guess this guy is such a hot shot, he doesn't. Oh, he's just play. like that. It's easy to miss as you're swinging your weapon through hordes of Tyranids, but you can actually see the exhaust. Wait, wait, what, bro, wait. I mean, that actually makes sense because wasn't he the guy whenever, um, Whatever Titus was, also, uh, whenever Titus was ever, uh, he was actually accused as like being a traitor from the uh, from Blondie, and then turns out the person who ever accused Titus, he was actually like a like a, uh, he, it was like a trick or whatever, and then the guy, the hot shot, actually um, shot the dude, bro. I remember that. Team spewing from the engine. If you understood what I said, some 40k. You understood. It. If you didn't, my bad. Packs or batteries, while others use promethium, basically 40k gasoline. So if the Space Marine 2 variant is a variant using a power pack, this could be a heat exhaust instead. As we That's see a nice a screenshot. On the Astartes power packs, which are themselves powered by a miniature fusion reactor. The Tyranid Termagons in Space Marine 2 are equipped with a living biological weapon called a Flesh Borer. The weapon actually houses a brood nest where borer beetles lay their eggs. Eggs which, once hatched, are used as the weapon's ammunition. Yes, this Wait, thing is what? shooting frenzied, biting beetles at you. And if that wasn't horrifying enough, you can actually see that this living weapon has its own eye. 
visible on the horrific device. People were requesting the ability to wear your helmet in the Space Marine 2 campaign from the moment the game was announced. But if you threw your helmet on the moment your campaign started, you may not have noticed that each character's voice is accurately modulated as if they were speaking through the helmet's vox. What is our assignment? The Cadians have lost control of the Oh, weapons. snap. To recapture them. You may not have noticed, but if you hold up on your D-pad, you can issue pings and commands. But you can also use this menu to trigger voice lines. The Codex is a guide, not a command. Speaking of the Codex, there is a nice reference to the original 2011 Space Marine as Gadriel comments on their squad's plan uh, to 2011. launch from their ship with a jump pack. The Codex of Starties does not support this action. But I am looking forward to it. The Codex of Starties does not support this action. Try to keep up. Wow. Slaying bro, 2011? I know I'm a new booty, bro. With a I'm so new to this, bro. But did you know that if you take Yo, a forgive me. in a nearby body of water, be that from a city fountain or swamp, oh you can wash goodness. away that filth until your armor is once again as clean as the day it came. Yo, you can use the water to wash off the Another armor? That's, easy to that's crazy. not experimenting with the photo mode is that while aiming a weapon, Titus will actually shut one of his eyes as if looking down the scope or through the iron sights. With a Space Marine suite of sensors, targeting devices, wow. and sensors, this may not be necessary. I actually did not notice that. But it's nice to see Titus is taking his marksmanship seriously. One of the most common symbols you'll see in any Warhammer 40,000 game is the Aquila. It's like the and two Space birds? Suit yeah. Is no different, as the Imperium's twin headed eagle can be found everywhere with different versions and levels of detail. Almost everything that is owned or produced by the Imperium of Man has this sacred I mean, symbol well, somewhere. That, that's just like, More detailed versions have the left eagle. I mean, well, that, that's just like if you walk into like a Nike store, everything is branded in Nike. Or if you walk into like a, uh, into an Apple store, Brother, everything has the apple on it. I mean, so like, you know, it only makes sense. Depicted with eyes while the right is blindfolded, as you can see in the 3D versions found on the Battle Barge command bridge. Originally, the blind side represented mankind looking back into its past, moving on from the mistakes of mankind's history, while the sighted side looked towards the future. Oh yeah, I learned about how humanity. humans were cracked. But did you know um, that it's possible to make this? I learned how like how humans were like, and again, I'm a new booty, so make sure you guys correct me. I learned that uh, in the lore of like of like Warhammer, bro. I learned that like the humans like were that like they were so bored out of their mind that like they increased the pain and they increased the technology and they increased like the music so it could be like louder so they could feel more pain. Basically, it they basically got numb. They they were so bored that they legit increased everything, which is I mean it's I mean it's their fault. They legit increased everything. Because they were legit bored out of their mind because like they couldn't feel nothing out of it Like they were so like dopamined up. It was crazy So like I was like so then they literally just increased everything and so stuff got painful like bro. They was doing that uh, what, what is it? They did that to music. They did that to art to television like it was it was crazy Hopefully, you know that doesn't happen in real life, you know I feel like if, if it gets to a point to where like you're just bored of everything Maybe you know you should take some time off of everything if that makes sense. And I'm not talking about, like, in the evil way or nothing. I'm just saying, like, maybe, like, you know, you should, like, go outside and, like, you know, breathe in some air for, like, an hour. And then come back and, like, get on your stuff. Like, and then, like, get on, like, your game or whatever. Like, I, I feel like if you're actually bored. Like, look, look I'm, I'm actually being serious. If you're actually bored of everything around you, maybe you should just step away from everything around you just for a few days. And then you come back, you're like, oh, you know what? I like this stuff now. I didn't mean to give you guys hands. a life lesson. It's very but. easy to miss, but you can actually see a few Astra Militarum troopers performing this gesture. This gesture is known to every single individual within the borders of the Imperium and is often used to show your allegiance or as a sign of devotion or respect. Oh, okay. To many, the soldiers of the Astra Militarum are often considered cannon fodder, but every soul able to fight for the Emperor is one worth saving. In this scene, you can see an Imperial Guardsman running for cover as a Tyranid warrior takes aim and shoots them. But if you're quick enough, you can actually save this soldier's life by stunning the Tyranid before they get their shot off. Nice. Or stepping in front of the shot yourself. The Tyranid warrior is really locked onto this guy, so you may have to block more than one shot. 
This isn't the only place you can save a few Militarum souls, though. You can also lend some supporting fire to fights off in the far distance, helping thin really? the of Tyranids assaulting Cadian positions so they I may mean, well, yeah, they're the helping day. you fight, so, like, you machine, might as well help. As you approach the Temple of Thassian, you can see armored busts adorning the arena. This armor is actually a very old variant of Space Marine power armor, called the Mark III Iron Armor from the years of the Great Crusade, which took place across the 30th and 31st millennium prior to the Horus Heresy. Oh, wait. So the Great, the Great Crusade, uh, the Great Crusade, right? That was when there was like 12 teams, right? Wasn't that like the Great Crusade when like everybody, when like they were all like going up against each other to, uh, to see like who would be like in, like, in control or, or to see who was, uh, who would be emperor, right? Again, correct me. I'm, I'm trying to put the pieces together. I'm kind of like doing like I'm. I'm kind of giving myself like a like a pop quiz, if you will. A time where space marine legions more or less got along with each other. This detail also complements the paintings that adorn the walls of the Temple of Thassian. As you can see, pieces of art that seem to be depicting more space marines battling to conquer and unify the galaxy during the Great Crusade. This art really stood out to me as it's very reminiscent of the art found on many of the covers from the Horus Heresy series. In fact, the composition of this image really reminded me of this piece of artwork titled Abacol by Sam Wood, featured in the Visions of Heresy book. One thing I've been able to decipher is some of the numerical scribblings of the Adeptus Mechanicus. There are hundreds of pieces of machinery scattered through Space Marine 2, and some of them have inscriptions marked upon their hulls. I translated this one that I found on a giant drill. It reads, each one a sacred shrine, which is apt when you consider that the Admech hold machinery and technology in such high regard. However, as far as I could tell, a few of these other ones are just gibberish but some other code breakers among you may fare better. With that in mind, I also found these screens throughout the same level. I haven't been able to work out if they say anything, but I'm convinced that they must. If you manage to decipher them though, leave them in the comments and we can share that knowledge together in a future video. There is magic in the air. When fighting the Thousand Suns or battling your way through their warp-touched environments, you may have seen purple particles around the map or bro, following your character. The color in this game looks beautiful, mode to bro. See these properly, but these particles are actually runes and part of a chaos language called the Dark Tongue. Yo. This language originated in Warhammer Fantasy and first appeared as early as the 90s. You can see a specifically Zinch variant of the runes in the Age of Sigmar Battle Tome Disciples of Zinch. I've not been able to decipher if a message is hidden Bro, here though. This looks so if there crazy. are any warp touched Zinch worshippers among you that can read these runes, please do leave the solution in the comments. Oh no, below. you know somebody will read them. Potential minor spoiler for this one, but this scene features a really cool detail. If you have played the campaign, then you know that these Astra Militarum troopers are actually heretical traitors aligned with the Thousand Suns. But if you look closely, he doesn't the have the purple. Who is addressing the squad of Ultramarines doesn't have the Cadian purple eyes yep, yep. which every other member of the cadian 8th regiment yep. has this is a really small detail and you only get a couple of seconds to appreciate see, hey, hey, hey. It, even i noticed that even i noticed that see this attention to detail going into the world building of space ring 2 and because of this i don't believe that these traitors were ever members of the imperial guard it's more likely they stole these uniforms or killed their previous owners to disguise themselves as loyal soldiers in the aftermath of a later scene we also learn that chiron is old as hell in fact, he may have been born over 10,000 years ago. Let me explain. Kyron Old head that. material. How did you know? I was a boy on Kalf when the word bearers attacked. I came to know the mark of chaos. This is a reference to the Battle of Kalf, which took place in the 31st millennium during the beginning of the Horus Heresy. That Horus man, Michael Patrick Jordan, old. Known as the Ultramarines Primarch Robute Gilliman. So when he was ordered by the Warmaster Horus to muster his legion on Kalf, he did so without question, bringing 200,000 space marines and countless more war machines and auxiliaries to the planet. The word bearers were then sent to Kalf to exterminate the gathered ultramarines. Though they failed and the majority of the traitors were destroyed, the ultramarines lost more than half their number, and the planet of Kalf was devastated to the point that the surface was uninhabitable and life could only persist underground or within heavily shielded surface cities. So that's where Chiron is from, but this event happened 10 millennia ago. Well, Archmagos Belisarius Call began the great work of creating the Primaris Marines just after the Horus Heresy, using both existing Space Marines and young recruits to create the Primaris. 
These individuals were then kept in stasis for 10,000 years mm. and awoken just before the 42nd millennium. So the memory of seeing his homeworld devastated is still raw and fresh in his memory. The use of service ah. studs to represent years served has fallen out of favor with many Astartes. So while we can deduce that Chiron is over 10,000 years old, it isn't totally clear how long he's been awake, so to speak. A reference and detail I didn't expect to see was a quote from Isidore Akios. Isidore Akios was a Blood Raven librarian that appeared in the original Dawn of War, released in 2004 by Relic, the developers 2004? of the original 2011 Space Marine game. An open mind is like a fortress with its gates unbarred and unguarded. It's a great quote, no doubt. But not only is Isidore Akios from a different studio's game, he's also from a different chapter. But most of all, the guy was a traitor. He was manipulated by a sorcerer and turned to chaos. Oh, the chaplain needs to have a few words bro got Majin Vegeta. These motivational quotes. The captain of the Ultramarine Second Company, Sylvester's Akaran, as seen on the Battle Barge's bridge commanding the rest of the Ultramarine's forces, yeah. is based on this previously unnamed model of a Primaris captain in Phobos armor. A lot of the detail present on this miniature has been translated onto the in-game Akaran including his various honors, knife, pistol, and wonderful beard. But this question goes out to the That is a very nice Space beard. Too. Did you give an Astartes by the name of Acheran a Scottish accent on purpose? I'll be straight with you, Titus. I have my reservations about your reinstatement. For those unaware, Ach is a Scottish exclamation. It can mean surprise, frustration, or even excitement and pleasure. But it's funny oh. that this name and accent works so well. And when I tried to explain this to my Scottish grandfather, he replied, I okay, but what the hell is a space marine? <laughs> anyway, those are 20 details in Space Marine 2 oh, that it? I found interesting. And I hope you did too. If there are any secrets or details that you found or lore tidbits from the game that you want to share, leave them in the comment section below and maybe we'll feature them in a future episode. Since writing this, I have found even more secrets and details. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see another, shout sure out to Dave. That like button, subscribe and join us next time. Thank you for watching. Hey, shout out to Dave. Shout out to GameSpot for watching this. By the, uh, I, I said for watching this, y'all. Listen, I'm dead beat tired. Shout out to GameSpot and shout out to Dave uh, for the gameplay, for the editing, for the writing. And then shout out to Jake uh, for the gameplay, man. Um, listen, I'm starting to catch up on, on some of the lore. Uh, as you guys see, I was like, you know, trying to, uh, listen, I was kind of like, you know, answering some of the questions. Listen, I, I, I told y'all. See, now I'm catching up. Don't listen. Do not get me started because give me like a month and I promise you I'll know more than you and you play the game more than me and you know more than me. But guess what? Give me one more month. I'm about to school and everybody. You, as a matter of fact, bro, you guys can just legit just ask me basic knowledge questions, bro, and I'll answer them right on the spot. OK, I'm lying. I won't do that. And if I get one wrong, I'll be highly embarrassed. But as a new member of the Warhammer uh, uh, family or fan base, whatever you guys want to call yourselves. Uh, let's just say that I am definitely catching up whenever it comes to information, stuff like that. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and 